I believe that one of the most important things about living in this day and age is our ability to choose. We have a lot of different opinions on different books. There are books that people like, that people don't like, and we have amazing discussions together about why we love a certain book or why we don't love a certain book. Here's just something that I'd really like to talk to you guys about, maybe just share my opinions, voice my thoughts, about something that has sort of just been bothering me a tiny bit recently. Hi everyone, it's Leandra and welcome to another video. I've decided to have a quick discussion video about just my general opinions on me believing that I still feel like we are still kind of forced to, you know, love a book or hate a book depending on like, you know, the social norms and stuff. Just as a quick disclaimer, I am not in any way directing this at, at us or anything. This is just something that I just wanted to talk to you about that has sort of just been on my heart recently and I, because there are certain ways about things that I feel, I just feel the need to express them to you guys and I really, really hope that maybe, you know, I'll find some people who share the same opinions as I do and who've seen this issue as well. The way that this issue first came to my mind was when I was on Facebook one day and I came across a BuzzFeed post. For those of you who don't know, BuzzFeed is a very, very big YouTube channel. I think it spans about maybe 10 or even 15 different kind of sub-channels and they just make like entertaining videos um, about culture, about music, about food, about, I don't know, fashion. Some of it is comedy. But most of you will have heard of BuzzFeed in one way or another. So I watched this video and I believe that it was titled People Who Have Never Read Harry Potter Explain Harry Potter. The only thing that I remember seeing was very hateful, very discriminating comments in the comment section. It, it just really shocked me to see people getting attacked just for not liking something or because they haven't read something or seen something. It just really hurt me. Another way that I sort of started realizing this was when I was watching a lot of booktube videos about people who were sharing their favorite series and I started making lists of all my favorite series. Now, I am a Harry Potter lover. I, I really, really love the books. I love the movies. I, however, no matter how much I love it, there are just series out there that I, I just like more. And I've started to feel really, really ashamed about this. I've started feeling extremely guilty knowing that I wouldn't put Harry Potter on my top favorite series of all time list. I mean, no matter how good a series is, no matter how much you love a series, it doesn't always necessarily mean that it's going to be your f top favorite series of all time, but I've started just feeling really guilty about it and I don't think that I should feel guilty about it whatsoever. And I'd just like to point out again that I don't hate it. I love the series. I've also sort of noticed this with big fantasy novels like Lord of the Rings, things like Game of Thrones, and so on and so forth. So just taking those series, like the Harry Potter series, the Lord of the Rings series, the Hobbit, Game of Thrones, I feel like I've seen a lot of people getting instantly attacked just because they don't like it as much as the general public. Why is this? Why, why can't we all just you know, come to an understanding that there are some people who are just aren't going to like a series as much as most people are. I mean, there is a reason why Harry Potter has influenced so many people and it definitely has influenced me, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna influence everyone in the world. I mean, there are gonna be a, some few people that, you know, just aren't gonna enjoy it as much. Now, I'm not saying that it is okay to say things like, oh yeah, I don't want to read the book, I don't like the book, I don't like the movie, if you haven't actually given it a chance. I am simply talking about people who have made a conscious decision about not feeling up to reading a book or just not liking it in general, and I just don't believe that people should get attacked for that. I don't think that people should get any hate for not liking Harry Potter. I don't think people should get hate for not liking The Hunger Games or, you know, Lord of the Rings, or even movies, you know? Like, I mean, I feel like people instantly get hated on if they say that they don't like Game of Thrones, or if they say that they've never watched Lord of the Rings. I mean, up until two years ago, I'd never watched Lord of the Rings either, and then I watched it, and my life changed. Another thing that I wanna talk about is the exact reverse. And I feel like this is extremely prominent with the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. I can't even begin to explain how many times I've used the phrase, oh yeah, but it isn't such a good book, but I like it anyway, when explaining people why I've read and liked the series. I don't think that Twilight is a bad series. I love the series, but I see myself making so many excuses in order to satisfy the general public opinion of 
Twilight sucks. Twilight is for 12 year old girls, you know, there's no worth in it. But that's just not true for me. I love the series and, and I feel like I instantly get attacked if I tell people that I like it. Going off of that, I've noticed that especially when I've talked to someone about Vampire Academy who has never heard of the series, I instantly feel sort of like ashamed that my favorite series has the word vampire in it. And I feel like that's just because, you know, like Twilight has gotten such a bad reputation in our society recently. It just really hurts me. Now, this kind of a phenomenon, the getting hate for liking a series does not happen in the booktube community. I've noticed that people are very accepting of people who love a series, but I know that there probably are people who feel peer pressure to like certain books. I don't think that we should feel ashamed if we do things like the unpopular opinions book tag. I think we should just be really honest with each other. Now, I'm not saying that when someone comes up to you and tells you that they haven't read Harry Potter yet or didn't like it, that you shouldn't try to change their mind about something that you feel very strongly about. I think that it is great if we exchange our ideas, if we encourage people to see the goodness in everything, but I also feel like you can only do so much. You know, you can only tell them how much you like something, but then it's up to them to decide whether they like the book or not. I've also noticed this a lot with classics. Now this is also something that never happens in the booktube community. I just feel like society these days, um, minus booktube of course, sort of feels like if what you are reading isn't a classic or isn't at least super famous for its great literature, then you are not smart, then you are wasting your time. I cannot just begin to explain how annoyed that makes me. Like, yeah, classics can be really, really great, but they're not everyone's cup of tea. Why do we get discriminated for what we like in books? It just really hurts me. Anyway, as a disclaimer again, I'm not talking about the booktube community. I have just seen sort of, you know, people making fun of people that like don't like Harry Potter and stuff and sort of just, just, just said really nasty things. And this hasn't been in the booktube community. This has mostly been sort of outside of the booktube community, but still in the reading community. And it just, I don't know. I just, it, it just rubs me the wrong way, you know? Please feel free to write something in the comment section below. I really hope that I haven't offended anyone. This was not my purpose whatsoever. I was just trying to just voice my concern about something that I've seen happening just like a tiny bit and see whether maybe some other people feel similarly. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys with another video soon. Bye.